This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town, they literally have everything and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% on everything on the website. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. CardMarket is a European platform where you're able to buy as well as sell cards to people all across Europe. You can use the referral name ZAPDOSTCG to help support the channel. Also, this video is sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. Want to create your own custom playmat? There's only one address. Go check out YourPlayMat.com by clicking the link down below. You'll get 10% off your order. They ship worldwide, so start creating your own custom playmat. Last but not least is Dragon Shield. DragonShield.com is, of course, the affiliate link down below in the description. You're going to be able to buy sleeves, deck boxes, as well as binders. And Dragon Shield is the best brand to help protect your cards and keep them safe from any scratches whatsoever. They are the best quality these sleeves around so uh yeah i'm a, a big fan so uh thanks for sticking around with the commercials let's get it going What's up YouTube, it's Zabdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content, so be sure you are subscribed to never miss a single upload. Hopefully you guys are in the mood for Miltank, that's right, Miltank from the only one Astral Radiant set. With Miracle Body preventing damage done to it by a V Pokemon, that also includes V Max Pokemon, V Star Pokemon, V Union Pokemon, they are not able to touch us whatsoever. Now, that's a very good thing because that means we can set up the Blizzy as the partner Pokemon here with Blissful Blast, slapping an insane amount of uh, damage for every energy attached to it and if you did any damage you can uh, attach three energies from the discard pile to it so we also have Evelto to get rid of the uh, energies on Mew because that's your win out against Mew you utilize Evelto you utilize Pat to the peak you utilize hammers and that's your win count because Mew can actually uh, attack this with max miracle unfortunately uh, but against other archetypes you can wall out immediately we have Hasui and Heavy Ball to find uh, one of our Pokemon they're all basic which is super nice we have Hyper Potion to heal we have uh, Switch Card to heal uh, because this works a like a switch and healing 30 only with basic Pokemon though. Uh, on top of that, we also have Chair and Scare to put a Blizzy back in hand and just promote Mill Tank to make it super hard for the opponent to do anything. Definitely with Cape of Toughness, turning the Mill Tank into a 160 HP monster and a 300 HP Blizzy. And uh, if the opponent doesn't have answer it, answer short, they're gonna be sorry. Powerful Chorus Energy also puts the damage output for Root a little bit uh, higher on top of the uh, Blissful Blast. So hopefully you guys are excited for this deck. It actually got third place in the late night. Uh, just a couple of days ago, so uh, Shuang1206 uh, from Taiwan actually got third place with this fantastic deck and that's what we're going to be testing out today. If you guys are uh, hyped for a mill tank, let me know by slapping the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many ways and I'm always super grateful if you would do so. So if you're enjoying the content, that's going to be uh, the way you could help out. So we're going to be going first because that means we can uh, see what we're dealing with. We already have Capture Energy. Depends on the matchup, to be honest. We can uh, start off with some more mill tanks with capture energy. We can go for Hisuian Heavy Ball to see what is priced immediately, so you don't have to prize map. Okay, we are up against Genesect here, okay. So, uh, Meloetta is going to be the, the card they're going to be utilizing instantly. This, These are our prize cards, so uh, one path to double chair and scare. Oof. Yeah, double chair and scare is super scary, though. So, what are we going to do? Capture energy. We can get ourselves Eveltal already. Or do we get the Blizzy? Blizzy can easily knock out. Yeah, let's just take the Blizzy for now. I want to get out Eveltal as well, but it's going to be a little bit more hard. Let's see if they have Alessa Sparkle and Attachment. They could knock us out. Let's put a uh, Cape of Toughness onto the big uh, Blizzy V. If they have their entire bench filled up, we can use Zinnia's Resolve. So one Mew. Mew is not able to attack us, by the way. They need Meloetta, for all we know. All the Meloettas are surprised. This is also cool to see. One Power Tablet down the drains means they only have uh, three power, power Tablets remaining. So if, they, if there's one prize, they can still knock us out if they have Choice Belt because we have uh, 300 HP. But if they rely on uh, DTE, that's not going to be working out, which is good. They go for a Rotom Phone, so this will be a Mew player not utilizing Battle VIP shenanigans, which is super awesome. We can uh, start hitting with Mill Tank. We can also boss us order something. They boss us. Okay, fine by us. Let's go. Crushing Hammer. Not even uh, useful in this scenario. I'm gonna use Poke Gear to see what we would have drawn here. Okay, lots of energies and stuff. We can Marnie. I don't want to Marnie the opponent. 
Not at all. Let's go for research. Let's do this. We've lost one uh, crushing hammer, but it's okay. We found Pat to the peak. Pat to the peak on top of the attack with the mill tank. DTE allows us to slap enough damage. That's not too bad. We could capture energy here as well. Then go for the Greninja play. That's not bad. I knew the Greninja was in there. I saw it already. Look at this. Then we're going to be going for the concealed cards of Greninja. Let's go. Drawing more cards. And yeah, I think I'll just slap down Pat to the peak right now. And let's go for the Blissful Blast. Could have also switched into the mill tank. Walling out a little bit, but this seems fine. A Blizzy with 300 HP with Pat to the peak down. And a mill tank that is only able to get knocked out with... Yo, here you go. Take the mill tank. Does he have an option against mill tank? Unless a sparkle. He's not going to be able to attack us unless he has Mu V Max. Yeah, energy mix. That's fantastic. We do have the switch card here. How much energies are in here? That's three. That means we are slapping 100. Uh, that's going to be 80 with the powerful cars energy. Still not enough damage, by the way. Uh, yeah. We could boss the Genesect or we could slap. This guy could Psychic Leap, so it's maybe better to boss. Maybe better to boss here and put the powerful card of energy over here and then go for the switch card to get that mill tank out of the active slot and slap for the blissful attack. 130 damage. No energies in our discard pile, unfortunately. We'll see what happens. They have three fusion energies in play, which is always super scary, but the path to the peak still sticks. Yeah. That's what we're dealing with here. We have Crushing Hammer as well. So we have one, two, three, four energies. That's 130 with an additional energy. One, two, three, four, that's 130. 160, still not enough, by the way. It is still not enough. Crushing Hammer. It fails. Unfortunately, we do have Zinnia's Resolve. Get rid of this, get rid of that. We can have Hyper Potion later. Okay, we got some more cards. Another powerful Carlos Energy over here. We have the Mill Tank here, another one that he needs to... And uh, Mill Tank is not good in this matchup, by the way. Because of the fact that Mew can just simply go crazy. Blissful Blast, 160. No draw power, they need to randomly draw to Mew VMAX. The Pat to the Peak sticks, so against Mew VMAX, you just use Pat. The Mill Tank is also here, could take out a one prize Pokemon, so this gives up two prize cards, one prize card, one prize card. We can set up another Blizzy if we want to. <laughs> Yo, the Mew VMAX is here, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six energies. 190 with additional buff, 210. Not quite enough. Max Miracle, yo folks, that's just literally gonna do nothing. And we also get a card because of that uh, shenanigans. We're not gonna Marnie, that's for sure. We're just gonna go for Hyper Potion. We're gonna get rid of that DTE. Yeah, the DTE goes away with the Hyper Potion. Let's go, healing, attaching, and Crushing Hammer. It's a Tails, but it doesn't matter. Let's go for a Blissful Blast. We could not psychically, but unless he top back something ridiculous. Yeah, next turn we do hit for an insane amount of damage. Yeah, UV Max just got pat. <laughs> That's just super funny. Okay. Goes for that strategy. Another Cape of Toughness. Don't need it. Just blissful blasting our way through it. So yeah, Mill Tank not showcasing its power. We also have Charon Scare here. Yeah, Charon Scare is fantastic. That means we can also attack with uh, Mill Tank is actually quite good as an attacker if they have a full bench. But this Mew player is literally not able to do anything. Yeah, we have more pads where those came from. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> they're already gone. They've already conceded. So, Mew v Max is not a bad matchup. I also want to see what the opponent did. The Chuang1206 from Taiwan. Did he see some Mew v Max? Yes, he actually won against all of them. So, Mew v Max is not a bad matchup. Which makes this deck playable. Which makes this deck very good. You could use Mill Tank against, like, Palkia. Decks that are, of course, not having a lot of answers against uh, one prize Pokemon. And the only thing you have to do is knock out Aqua Bullet and Talion or whatever. 
That's what you have to do, right? Okay, we don't have a uh, basic. Again, we don't have a basic. What are they playing? I want to see what they're playing, though. This is our mulligan. Okay, Aqua Bullet. Capture Energies in here as well. Interesting. They're playing Capture Energies. Makes me think Suicune. There we go. We have Radiant Greninja. We can research all this away, or we could just go for the concealed cards first. Okay, it's some sort of Frostmoth. This could be like Greninja. We don't have Subble, right? They are playing Frostmoth, which is a kind of an interesting attack, attacking Pokemon, Air Balloon. Okay, that's all they're doing. Sure. Uh, concealed cards. Let's get rid of the powerful card with energy. Cape of Toughness and more. Uh, yeah, I don't know if Path to the Peak will help here, but maybe they're playing Radiant Greninja. They probably are playing Radiant Greninja, so just for that matter, let's research our entire hand away. Could have put the Cape of Toughness onto Radiant Greninja, but it doesn't matter in this situation. Twin Energy. Pretty interesting to attack with Miltank, by the way. Could also... Hyper Potion is also pretty interesting. I think I'll just Quick Ball. You cannot attach this to a GX Pokemon, which is unfortunate. I want to keep on to all these cards, but I just, I'll just i get rid of one Hyper Potion. Try to set up Blizzy here. Blizzy, Miltank, Attachment here. And if they fill their entire bench, uh, we can actually attack with the, the Miltank here for a Twin Energy. There are already some energies under this card pile, which you can accelerate with Powerful. Blissful Blast here is actually slapping at 40, 50. Okay, there's a Frost mod. Why are they not playing V-Star Pokemon and V-Maxes? I don't know. It's a research. Okay, Nessa. Double Nessa down the drain. I think this is going to be Radiant Greninja. Hasuian Heavy Ball. Is there a basic Pokemon in their prize cards? There's a Starmie. Oh, Starmie could wreck Blizzy. Not quite yet, but the more energies we have in play, the more damage this Starmie will actually do. We are now slapping for a whopping 60 damage with the Blissful Blast. Still have access to all of our bosses' orders. There's three bosses' orders in here. I wonder if they will retreat. They need to slap their bench full of Pokemon so we can Avery. Come on, do that. I know they're playing the Starmie, which is not able to attack Miltank whatsoever. The only thing we need to worry about is the Aqua Bullet. All right, perfect. Avery. We have a Balsa's Orders. Nothing too useful, I would say. Uh, attachment, retreating, crushing hammer, doesn't work, cape of toughness here, and a blissful blast KOing this little snum. We cannot afford to put a lot of energies here, so let's put one. The Starmie could attack, the Starmie could attack out of nowhere, 60 damage. Plus 50 is 110. 110 with 40 is still 110 with 40, 150. Even if we attach another energy, it needs to be powerful cards energy, so we're not going to over attach here. Otherwise, Starmie is gonna wreck us. That's something you don't want to see. Right now, we have enough capabilities to just try to knock out the Shady Dealings Aqua Bullet fella. Two Nessas down the discard pile as well. Also the Radiant Green just snipes. Yeah, that's what I expected. It is not going to be affecting us too much because we have enough HP. Energy Retrieval. Okay, Crushing Hammer would have not mattered here. Shady Dealings. Hmm. We are stopping 110. So knocking out the Aqua Bullets is probably not going to be working out. I didn't want to equip that DTE, otherwise the Starby could have come with 200 damage output. Probably would have not been too bad. 
this list is the running four uh, powerful cars energies though. Here comes Radiant Greninja, Palpat Nessa. I think they just want to spam Radiant Greninja here. Research on top. Starmie is gone. The Starmie is gone. More Pokemon on the bench. And with the high amount of Nessa, they can have a lot of Aqua Bullets. So Miltank literally doing nothing against this match as well. Radiant Greninja. Moonlight Shuriken. The Greninja and the Blissey are getting some damage. Yeah, in this scenario, it's just better to knock out the, the Frost Mods. Let's go! I'm not afraid. He could Nessa and then get the Starmie out of nowhere to slap 200, which is still not enough unless they have Choice Belt. Mmm. They will need Frost Mod. They could have Nessa here, but no retreats, but they probably have retreat. Do we get the DTE here? We could get knocked out with a random Starmie. I don't want to risk it, to be honest. Another Blizzy. Okay, that's fine. I didn't want to take the risk. Because we have another Balsasaurus. If we knock out the Frost Mod again, we should be in a great position. <laughs> okay. Nessa. Frost Mod and Snom again. Aqua Bullets 120, 120 is gonna get there at one point. Yeah, this is a, a one prize water box, not what you want to be seeing with the mill tank. And the Radiant Greninja can take some multiple prize Pokemon. Maybe we should have gone for the DTE, but I was afraid that he's playing Choice Belt and Starmie. Maybe I was a, a little bit too afraid. Capacious bucket again. We did take a lot of prize cards already, though. Capture energy again. Okay, Cravomitable. What? Yikes. This Cravomitable can actually knock us out. Yikes. How crazy, man. Super unique deck, that's for sure. Super unique deck from the opponent. What are we gonna do now? Yeah, promoting the mill tank. We do have a powerful Karas energy there. Each of the opponent's Pokemon. Benched Pokemon. No. Drawing more cards. Making them stuck. Playing scoop up nets, playing air balloons. I could try to make him stuck. But they have energies that they can get back with training court. Hmm. How do we fix this issue? He's definitely gonna be coming with he could retreat and knock us out, so maybe we just boss trap, otherwise he just knocks us out. Let's just hope. The ball strap works. Concealed cards. We're going to be drawing some more cards. See what happens. DTE, Chair and Scare. DTE over here. 20, 20, 20. That's 110. We could knock out the Frost Moth with... And the pad to the peak on top of it. They still have enough energies left. I, I really want to save my pad to the peak so we are actually able to draw cards as well. Here's a mill tank. The problem is that we didn't have a cape of toughness onto it. 
We do have DTE right now. They could attack with Greninja, but that's not going to knock us out, which is good. At this point, yeah, there's a lot of energies in our discard pal. Still need to take three prize cards. So there's a NASA as well. Starmie could come out of nowhere. No energy acceleration anymore, which is good. But uh, this deck is pretty scary. Lots of one prize options. Mill tank is not doing too much, and we get punished if we have enough energies because of Starmie. And this Frost mod keeps on coming back. Okay. This gets knocked out by an Aqua Bullet, I assume. One prize, one prize, yeah. The bench is full though, so we don't need to be afraid. Switch card. We really need as many cards that we can get. There's one, two, three. Uh, there's more energies in this deck, right? Concealed cards, let's go. Crushing Hammer. What else? Switch card. He can Aqua Bullet again, though. He could attack us, then we chair and scare and switch card. This guy could still survive a little hit. Yeah, doing it like this. Not the perfect situation, that's for sure. Could have also slapped on Path to Peak, but we need to drop power of Greninja here. Frost mod is back. How much damage is uh, this guy dealing? 90 plus 90. How many bosses are in here? Two. We could still boss trap him, right? Eight cards left in their deck. But they probably have so many energies left. They attack us, we chair and scare, we switch card on top of it, and then hopefully get an attack off. There's still like three hyper potions in here as well. Three prize cards, three prize cards. Let's see how it goes. Ice Dance. Energies on Greninja. Scoop up Nets. Okay, they're gonna go for the Greninja play. At this point, it doesn't matter. We have Evelto as a one prize option. We cannot draw any cards any further. That's gonna be pretty impactful. Yikes, what now? Hasuian Heavy Ball is not gonna work. We do have a mill tank here. There's also a research in our prize cards, sure. Uh, what to do now? Lots of energies in the discard pile. I think at this point we just have to slap down Pat to the peak. Uh, we are in a situation that he's gonna be able to. Uh, 110. Switch card. Now, I'm afraid of how many bosses are in here? Zero. Yeah. We really need to chair and scare here. And this guy maybe is not going to get KO'd because of the cape. Let's go. <laughs> what a strange game. Please, we need help. Of a research or whatever. I know there's a research prized. No, we're not gonna get a research. Maybe a Zinnia could be nice. There's three Zinnias resolve in here. And the opponent has like so many cards left. Maybe we can like, try and deck him out. I don't know if he's gonna be playing a lot of Marnies. Four energies. One retrieval in there. Two energies there. One training court. Actually, was that one or two training court? 
one training cord, okay. Two Nessas as well, again. The mill tank is not able to get knocked out here. We could wall a couple of turns maybe with it. Quick ball snum. If we, seven turns, can we survive for seven turns? We need to have chair and scare, but well, we cannot chair and scare anymore if we slam down another one prizer. And we only have access to one more chair and scare. They can always keep sniping with Greninja, but at one point their their resources will run out. And their bench is filled up, so Starmie is not an issue. Palpat is gone, two Nessas are gone. Shady dealings. Evolution and Sense Air Balloon, okay. They do have ways to retreat again. Four cards left in their deck though. Can we survive for four turns? Oh, quick shooting, that's gonna be hurtful. Definitely with this beast over there. That beast is insane. Uh, 90 damage right now. 60, 60, 120, 210 if there's two damage counters on there. That's so crazy. This deck, super hard for the mill tank Blissey deck. Three Pirates cards to take. Four cards left in the opponent's deck. Switch card and then attacking. He could quick shoot and then obliterate us. He could obliterate us. This guy is uh, the monster. Route? I think he has bosses orders, right? Quick shoot bosses orders, that's game. That's the only way. Probably has boss orders. I haven't seen any bosses orders here yet. Well played. You have a good deck. I don't want to get destroyed by a Crabominable out of nowhere. So uh, Crabominable snapping huge damage. Definitely in combination with the Radiant Greninja setting up KOs. And that is a matchup you definitely don't want to see because of the fact uh, you cannot overstack energies because of Starmie and you can also not uh, put Miltank in the active position because they're having one prize options. But yeah, take a three prize cards, it's fine. Let's see what uh, the next matchup holds for this Miltank Blizzy deck. Okay, we initially could attack from the get-go if we go second. Yeah, but that water builds super difficult. So we start off with Mill Tank, which is good. Let's see if we can come across a deck that only runs V Pokemon. Let's check out the meta game standings and see if there's any of them available in the format. Okay, Arceus builds with Sylveon. Well, <laughs> that's. Are there any Pokemon that can attack Mill Tank? Battle via PPS. We'll figure it out together. And that is a matchup that seems pretty free. Urshifu, Sylveon, Octillery. Alright. We could cape. He could attack with Octillery, but that's not gonna be doing too much. Capture energy. And bring out another mill tank. Let's go. I want to save my powerful Karas energy over here. We also have healing capabilities. Yeah, we're just gonna play it slowly with mill tank. Don't always have to play a supporter. And the artillery only slaps 50 if I'm not mistaken. It, it, does he have any answers though? Arceus not gonna touch us. Sylveon not gonna touch us. Urshifu not gonna touch us. We're good. Fan of waves. Yeah, how about uh, no fan of waves for you, man? Fan of waves is annoying. And a pat to the peak on top of it. Let's go. Mill tank obliterate. So you have two ways to play this deck. You can go heavily with the Blizzy, as we've seen in the Movie Max matchup. Or you can just go uh, walling out with Mill Tank. And there's a lot of archetypes out there that don't have an answer for Mill Tank. Out of the top of my head, I could think about, uh, for instance, Ice Riders, who should be pretty good because you only have one Shady Dealings, or maybe two at most. And with Cape of Toughness, you can. They all always have their bench filled up. 
Okay. Arceus, literally doing nothing. Uh, let's just go for Avery to draw cards. Yeah. We have more ways to heal with Hyper Potion. He could trap this guy. Roach. How much damage? 110. So the attack is not bad. The mill tank can well out while slapping huge amount of damage. But the peak is in play, so they cannot use Star Birth. Another Arceus. That is not able to touch it. <laughs> How cool is this? That's actually what I wanted to showcase today. That mill tank can wall out decks. Okay, they could have poisoned us with Crobat as a last resort. But that takes 15 in between turn phases to knock out one mill tank. Octillery can, of course, attack with Waterfall for 50 damage. Unless they're playing the Cologne. They could be playing the Cologne here. The Cologne actually shuts down Mill Tank for one turn. Eldegoss? Hmm. We could take prize cards with the Mill Tank. We're doing a significant amount of damage thanks to the powerful card with energy. I will put the twin energy on here. We could still set up a Blizzy as well, if we want to, but is it even necessary? Star Birth. The Cologne would be insane here. We have two mil tank, nothing to worry about. I don't even know if they're playing that. Looks like uh, the classic build from EOIC. Sylveon VMAX. And there's so many decks we still have to explore. Let me know in the comment section what you want to be seeing up next first. We have a uh, high demand for Dialga deck. The Dialga deck seems pretty strong. If we can get the right combination off. Yeah, they're uh, searching through the deck. Do they have an answer? Do they have an answer for the mill tank? Zigzag. Yikes, that seems like a very strange situation. Uh, yeah, Zinnia's Resolve. We're gonna be drawing a whole heap of cards. Let's discard a Hyper Potion and a DGE. To draw six cards, there's an even another Blissey. Let's slap down Pat to the Peak again. And wreck this guy. Route. We take two prize cards with Mill Tank. Yeehaw. Okay, what are they gonna bring to the table? Is there any way they can attack this mill tank? We could have also slapped down a Blissey, but maybe they're playing Echoing Horns and stuff and I don't wanna have that as a liability. Our hand is actually really crazily huge. That's not even a word, but I uh, think it's pretty good. Look at this, all these energies. We have Hyper Potion as well, if we really want to heal the mill tank, if he's like, slaps twice with an Octillery or whatever. Maybe that is the win out. Maybe just having one Octillery in the active slot with no Pokemon on the bench to attack Miltank. Imagine. Then he slapped him for 50 and we will then slap for 10. With powerful card energy it's 50 though, so... Props for the opponent for not giving up quite yet. Do they have a strategy? Fan of Waves. Is that their strategy here? The Fan of Waves? Getting rid of the powerful... No, of the DTE. Or actually the Twin Energy here. Okay. Nothing happened here. I am afraid... Let's see here. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 80. Yeah. I think I'll take down the Octillery. Put a DTE over here. And let's go. So the Octillery was the only thing that could have damaged us. And now <laughs> they're not finding any cards with Rapid Strike Surge. Waiting around with Mill Tank. Against a lot of decks you could do this by the way, Clara. Maybe they're playing the one prize Moltres, yeah maybe that is it. 
I can also set up a Blizzy on the bench waiting if all their bosses have been utilized. Okay, there's the baby Moltres. There he is. 150. Actually, 170. Wow. That is a scary scenario for sure. Yeah, we get 170. That is perfect math to knock us out. Yeah, that's pretty scary. He can also come with Urshifu at this point. Ah, yeah, he has what it takes. That is quite an issue. Even with the cape. Maybe he whips out on the Urshifu and energy. Cape. We could route. How much damage is that? Not enough, right? Lucky energy. He probably... He already used Clara for this, so I don't think he has boss attachment and more. He could. We have no way to get this mill tank back, so I think I'll just retreat the mill tank. And attack. These are two prize Pokemon, but it doesn't matter in the prize race, to be honest. Yeah. Go for this. Don't know if we should put a Cape of Toughness on either of these guys. Blissful Blast. 40 damage. Powerful, powerful. DTE. Making ourselves tanky. We have Hyper Potion to heal off damage. We'll see if they have boss here. They need boss, Rapid Strike, Urshi, they could boss this guy, but then it's a game, but then Blissey goes rampant through the opponent. Yeah, <laughs> I, w I, I thought why they were not giving up was that they have a sleeve, something up on their ace, but luckily there's a Rapid Strike Energy and a Discard Pal. Ultra Ball, they could have the Urshi here. Could have the Urshi, an Arcus V Star. Maybe Urshi is priced. Fury Wrath, not gonna be doing too much, that's perfect. We can chair and scare, and then with DTE. If we chair and scare right here, let's first of all, let's Crushing Hammer. Get rid of that energy. Secondly, if we put the DTE onto the mill tank, we are having a max damage output of 90, which is more than capable of knocking this guy out. Chairman's care. Yeah. Let's go. Back to the mill tank. DTE here. Cape of Toughness here. Cape of Toughness here. Getting wrecked, baby Moltres. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad they didn't find the Urshi, but we knocked out their artillery, so it only makes sense, right? They needed the energy as well, so this has a, a weird energy lineup. Do they find another Clara? Do they play Ordinary Rod? So many questions unanswered. And now we just safely attack with the Blissey here? I don't know. We can also take some more prize cards with Boss's Orders. With powerful card energy, our damage output gets increased again. Maybe they don't slap anything down on the bench anymore. Okay, Rapid Strike Energy. Switching... Okay, fine. This is fine. Powerful Colorless Energy. Sure. We could trap something. This probably is not playing Switch Outs or whatever. Boss. He could have DTE and then retreat, but what are the odds? And we still have access to more, one more boss's orders. Just trying to poke this Arceus a little bit. We have two Poke Gears in hand as well. Rapid Strike Surge. How many DTEs are in here, by the way? There's already one in the discard pile. I think maybe only two. They have played down Switch. A Rapid Strike Urshi comes our way. That's what I figured. Not doing anything. Here comes this guy. 
and let's go for route. Also, can put some energies in the discard pile here. Radiant Green Ninja drawing a little bit through the decks. If he gets rid of the stadium card, I'm not gonna go for Avery. We do want to find Boss's orders next turn though. Let's go. Ark is almost knocked out. I would be surprised if he's playing Chair and Scare. Can he get out of this situation? I think this deck typically relies on switching with Tower of Waters. There's a Remoraid again. <laughs> Opponent. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Blue, Mill Tank in the house. Mill Tank walling off decks. That's what you want to see, right? Lovely to see it. So we won easily against Mew v Max because of the high amount of disruption with Crushing Hammer, Pat to the Peak and all that stuff. We won against uh, purely based uh, V Max and V Star decks because they don't have an answer. But we unfortunately lost against that one prize water box. Let's see how it fares against the one and only Origin Palkia. We won the coin flip, let's go first. Can heavily attack with the Blizzy. We also have a low bench size in theory, so uh, they probably won't be able to one hit KO our Blizzy. Okay, we do start with Blizzy, super nice, and having the powerful Chorus energy in here as well. Uh, we are up against Pat to the Peak and Talion shenanigans. It's a quick shooter though. And Fog Crystal. Interesting. What could be the Fog Crystal? What deck could this be? Rapid Strike Mali. Oh, it's Dracapult back from the past. It is back from the past. Dracapult VMAX. Is a V Pokemon though. Depends on if they're playing Shady Dealings with Aqua Bullets. If they're only playing Psychic Energies, that will indicate that we can wall with the Mill Tank. Please get out more Pokemon so we can Zinnia. Marnie, okay, that's fine. Our hand. I didn't want to use Avery here. I'm glad, more gladly to use like research to get energies into this card pal. There we go, research. There's even a boss's orders play that we could utilize. Capture energy. We could boss the Sobble and maybe they brick. Or already punish this, this opponent here. Yikes. Energy and discard pile seems nice with Radiant Greninja. I know it's a, a, a liability here. Could still boss take a prize card, get damaged. Yeah. Maybe they whiff out on stuff. They only slap 130, right? So let's go for that first. Taking care of the Sobble. And we got a cape, which is gonna help out a ton. We also have Chair and Scare. No Sobbles in sight is good news for us. Attachment. Evolution. Okay, they have immediately access to the Dracapult VMAX. Unfortunately. But no Sobble. So maybe they don't have a supporter. And if all comes to shove, we can just put Mill Tank in the active slots. Mill Tank can still get damaged by Max Phantom if it's on the bench, not in the active position. We could Hyper Potion. Yeah, blah. Hyper Potion. Let's go. And a research on top. Concealed cards. Crushing hammer, super great. Didn't work, I don't wanna pat him. I really wanna utilize our draw power as well here. Blissful blast, crushing hammer could also works wonders against Dracapult. One, two, three, four, five, six energies in total. 
definitely a whole heap of damage. We can Hyper Potion again. So against Dragapult, it's super easy with Hyper Potion. Our fella will probably still be around. We've gotten rid of the Sobble, so yeah, they're breaking. That's what we're doing here. Concealed cards. Switch card could be a way out. Avery. We can attack with the mill tank here as well. Switch card mill tank. Slapping a little bit, but they don't have a huge bench size. So I think just attach here, hyper potion. This probably keeps on getting annoying for the opponent. And let's go. Blissful Blast. We're at 170. We will be drawing a lot of cards with the Lucky Energies as well. There is a Dracapult waiting in the back. Max Phantom. And our Greninja is knocked out. We do draw lots of cards though. Uh, Mill Tank. Powerful Carless Energy. I don't know if we will be able to draw. We will take three prize cards here. There's bosses orders remaining. They need a choice belt in hand. Will they find the choice belt? I don't know. I think I'll just get the twin energy over here. We could switch card and retreat. That means we are safe from KOs, right? 120. Yeah, I guess so. Retreat as well and then a big old classic research throwing away all these resources. Maybe Crushing Hammer could help us out here Crushing Hammer There we go getting rid of this energy and knocking out this fella with the blissful blasts and switch card I like this switch card item it's super nice Look at the energies how many energies are that? We're gonna be knocking out Dracopole VMAX quite easily with that and we have the boss's orders as well. So with uh, 180 HP remaining, this is out of reach for the Max Phantom. So we are good, even if they had a choice belt. So knocking out that, uh, oh, they had a oh, tool scrapper, no. They have tool scrapper. Okay, we are lowered down. All of our energies will go to the discard pile, by the way. Yikes. They have everything. They have everything. Yikes, but the problem is not uh, ending. They have shred attacks. They have a shred attack. Yikes. Okay, the, the game has not been played quite yet though. Crushing hammer. Failing. Uh, it's gonna have to be... Ah, this is bad. Uh, quick ball. Getting our good friend Blizzy out. Yeah, this is an extremely bad. Shred KOs this. Maybe we can buy ourselves a turn, but if the Shred KOs is actually not too bad. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Miltank does not wall this because of Shred. We don't find an energy. That's so bad. One prize, one prize. At this point, slapping down one prize doesn't matter anymore. The Shred doesn't knock us out. Yikes, we need an energy. How many energies are in the discard pile? 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We still have 5 energies left. Dracapult is making life very hard for us, that's for sure. How do we fix this? How do we fix this? The opponent could... Knock us out with Shred. No, they cannot knock us out with Shred. They could 
boss. Yeah, they could boss and knock out. No, they're gonna go for the Blizzy here. They find their Drizzle. We do have Switch Guard to heal some damage. They probably need Choice Belt here, right? Yeah. Yikes, they played it super well. That Tool Scrapper came out of nowhere. It really caught us off guard. A Chair and Scare would be nice here. Hmm. Somehow, miraculously, we need to like get all these energies done and then Hyper Potion until our heart's content. Or find Chair and Scare. Another Blizzy. I'm gonna boss this guy. I will try and maybe they're stuck. You never know. And then next turn we need, we really need to find an energy or a supporter. We still have access to one research. Scoop up net, no, this is super bad. They could swoop our entire field here. Yeah, it looks like Dragapult has the answers with the shred attack with Miraculous Body. We cannot wall out, unfortunately. Come on. The top deck of our century, no, Xenia's unplayable at this point. Yeah, that's probably well played. 160 again does knock it out, but we could still find Chair and Scare or whatever. Lava Ball Drizzle. Zigzagoon. Yeah, that's well played. Yeah, wow, Dragapult was super hard, man. Super hard. Even though we had like a, a nice head start, the Tool Scrapper wrecked our game plan. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Blizzy with Miltank. If you did, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many ways. Go check out our sponsors. PotownStore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can use the coupon code ZABLUSTCG for 5% off. Go check out CardsMarket.com. If you're a European player, you can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. There's Dragon Shield for sleeves, binders and deck boxes. There's an affiliated link down below in the description. And of course, yourplaymat.com. If you want to create your own custom playmat with your own unique logo, your favorite wallpaper or whatever, you could do it with the link down below. You can get 10% off and they ship worldwide. So uh, have a fantastic rest of your day, folks. Uh, how, do you think, how do you feel about the Blizzy Miltank deck? Let me know. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. Peace.